The Voyager 2 probe continues to amaze us. Now, the more than 45-year-old spacecraft has detected a mysterious movement in space. This discovery shows once again that the era of the Voyager probes is not over yet. Nobody currently knows how long humanity's longest serving probes will be able to send data. The fact is, even after radio silence, the two will continue to fly for millions of years and may still be traveling somewhere in the cosmos, even after humanity has long since ceased to exist. Voyager 2 set out on its iconic journey in 1977. Initially, the outer planets of the solar system were the target, but now the probe is in the interstellar medium. More than 45 years after its launch, the probe is still sending data to Earth every day, and these reveal more and more astonishing things. Now, the probe has shocking news for science again. A mysterious movement has been detected in the interstellar medium that raises questions. Where there should only be eternal silence, a signal from an unknown source has emerged. It's a bit like a gentle whisper in the darkness, which could be a promising clue to a previously unknown force. While researchers are still working on decoding the signal, many new questions are already arising. Is it a natural source that is sending the signal into the vastness of space? Or are we witnessing an artificial phenomenon whose source could even be some kind of technology? Voyager 2, exploring the interstellar medium. In 1977, no one would have thought that these two probes would continue to fly after their primary mission. But realistically, NASA in the 1970s and 80s was already happy that the probes had reached the outer planets at all. Voyager 2 is now more than 20 billion kilometers from Earth and is penetrating deeper into interstellar space every day. Basically, the probes are still working very well. Only the power supply occasionally causes problems. Over the years, engineers have had to shut down more and more functions to save power, and this occasionally causes confusion. Nevertheless, those in charge are doing everything they can to keep the two probes operational. From where no man-made object had been before, the probes have been sending valuable data for many years. Our understanding of the interstellar medium has changed drastically since then. Researchers once thought that beyond the boundaries of our solar system, there would be eternal silence and a void containing nothing but a few dust particles, gases, and weak radiation. Although Voyager 2's operations have since been severely limited, its functions are sufficient to continue researching the medium every day and to obtain real measurement data. At the moment, no one knows how long the radioisotope generators of the probes will last. The researchers live for each day because the data is too unique, the questions that arise are too many, and the longer the probes send data, the clearer the picture can become. The fact that the probes are still able to communicate with Earth at all is nothing short of a miracle. What the probes, constructed in the 1970s, have achieved in space with the deep space network on Earth is truly a great moment for human curiosity and engineering ingenuity. Due to the enormous distance, it now takes almost 20 hours for a signal from Earth to reach Voyager 2, and the same amount of time for a response to be sent back. A 3 kHz signal from nowhere? For over three years, Voyager 2 received a signal of about 3 kHz, which was not expected in interstellar space. Frequencies do not just arise, they are caused by some phenomenon or force. If a signal of this strength suddenly appears in the apparent void, there must be something. What is truly amazing is that this signal remains so stable over a period of three years that it almost seems artificial. It's assumed that the frequency is related to plasma waves caused by electron movements in the interstellar medium. However, the stability could be an indication that the source is technological. This would mean that the signal comes from another intelligent species. Interstellar plasma is the main component of the interstellar medium, and that is the main component of the universe. It fills the space between the stars and is far vaster than any collection of matter. The medium is thought to consist mainly of ionized gases, primarily hydrogen and helium, with a small amount of heavier elements. These particles are electrically charged and form a mixture of free electrons and positively charged ions. These particles oscillate and rotate, as they do everywhere in the universe, but they do not generate a frequency of 3 kHz. 
This would be comparable to a golden arrow shooting through water. The water would be the normal particles of the plasma, but where does the arrow come from shooting almost straight through the water? This is exactly the mystery that the mysterious signal has been posing since its discovery. It is possible that there is a connection with the particle density of the interstellar plasma in general. Estimates range from 0.1 to 10 particles per cubic centimeter. This would make the interstellar medium one of the most dilute states of matter in the universe, something like thin water. Despite its low density, the plasma must play a crucial role in astrophysical processes. It is a stabilizing system in the overall system, somehow balancing large spaces of emptiness and collections of matter, such as star systems, galaxies, and galaxy clusters. The Voyager probes needed a surprise. After crossing into the interstellar medium, the measurements of both probes showed a 40-fold higher particle density than assumed. This would make the plasma much denser. Coming back to the signal, a denser medium could stabilize a signal better and transport it further than a thin one. This could explain the stability and range of the signal. The source of the signal nevertheless remains a mystery. Interstellar plasma is not homogeneous. It's more likely to resemble a varied landscape than a uniform structure. Local variations in temperature, density, and magnetic field lead to different regions with hot ionized gas clouds or cool neutral areas. These differences also affect the transmission of a signal. If it remains stable, it seems to have enough power to penetrate these irregularities in the plasma without significantly losing its power and directionality. The source of the signal must therefore be a force or a cause that has a strength to produce a signal that can travel far and pass obstacles unchanged. However, no such source is known in the interstellar medium. Voyager 2 – New, Up-to-Date Measurements When we look at the highlights of the Voyager 2 mission in the open universe, we quickly forget that this probe basically sends fascinating things to Earth every day. The probes measure and send data around the clock, and every new data packet surprises the researchers. No one has ever been in this space before, and no other probe has ever sent data from there. Scientific calculations and forecasts have often been correct, but reality cannot always be predicted by calculations. In the case of the interstellar medium, researchers have been wrong in many ways. These errors are also due to the fact that we are dealing here with a non-material medium. Calculated forecasts are most suitable for material phenomena such as planets, stars, and galaxies. Calculating the void and nothingness is far more difficult because scientists can apply less certain standards. When the space probes left the heliosphere and entered interstellar space, science entered uncharted territory. The 40-fold increase in the density of charged particles was made possible by the plasma science experiment on board the probes. The instruments, developed especially for measurements of this kind, were already in use due to the primary mission to investigate the space between the planets. Scientists have studied the particle density of the entire solar system. At the boundaries of the heliosphere, the density suddenly became very high, suggesting the presence of a kind of wall at the edge of the heliosphere. The transition into interstellar space was abrupt, and behind the boundaries of the solar system, the probes again surprised with unusual measurements of the particle density. Since then, the measurement data revealed alternating areas with fluctuating particle densities or varying radiation. Through the permanent measurements, we obtain a kind of map of the interstellar medium. Although the probes are now the most well-traveled of all time, they have only explored a tiny part of the interstellar medium. The probes will continue to fly for thousands of years before they come close to the nearest star. We will only be able to follow a small part of this flight, but the measurements taken so far are already enough to complete the picture of the interstellar medium. Over more than 10 years, a picture of a complex and dynamic space has emerged. Local magnetic field interactions and other astrophysical processes show that the interstellar plasma is not just a passive environment, but is actively involved in mechanisms such as star formation, supernova explosions, and the propagation of energy in the universe. Concern for Voyager 2. What happens next? Voyager 2 has caused sensations and tremors in recent years. In 2023, 
The probe temporarily lost contact with Earth after a faulty command directed its antenna only two degrees away from Earth. This minimal shift meant that no more data could be received or sent. The distance of over 19 billion kilometers made the situation particularly difficult, since signals took almost 18 hours for a single transmission. NASA engineers worked tirelessly to restore communication. Using the Deep Space Network antenna in Canberra, Australia, engineers sent precise commands to realign the antenna. But communication was slow. A signal would leave the control center, then it would be 18 hours before it was clear whether the probe had implemented the instruction and whether there had been an improvement. Fortunately, with a lot of patience and over a period of weeks, contact was re-established and the probe was able to continue its scientific mission. In 2024, there were problems with data clarity. Cryptic data sets caused confusion. Again, it took weeks to fix the problem. The slowly declining power supply and the shutdown of more and more systems occasionally leads to confusion in the probes. Voyager 1 also went through a similar crisis. The altered conditions caused the probe to change internal processes, disrupting the data stream. You can imagine it as two computers that are over 40 years old reacting to changes with further loose contacts. Since the probes were constructed in the simplest way, the causes of the errors are far less complex than with modern technology, and the engineers have so far been able to get the probe back into harmony via remote maintenance every time. Nevertheless, Voyager 2's future is limited. The probe is powered by radioisotope thermoelectric generators that lose about 4 watts of power annually. It's likely that contact will still be possible until the early 2030s. Subscribe now and don't miss any new videos.